Okay, <clears throat> let's try and match sense of this uh, Walther trigger. Basically, your latch rod comes through here and operates this top sear. Usual, usual thing, your trigger has got two screw threads on there which act as your first and second stage. Now this is all quite loose so it's quite difficult to see but this first screw, all that looseness that you feel, that first stage looseness, it actually moves the sear. Okay. Now when you get to this back bit, the second stage that you feel, the sear is very nearly its point of release. So that you've got to be really careful of. As soon as you go past it, and it's really light. This is, <coughs> this spring here puts the pressure onto the bottom sear, so that gives you the pressure against the trigger. So, what that means is that when the thing is all latched and cocked and ready to go, every movement on this screw actually affects the engagement of that first sear, as you can see. Okay, so the important part, the second stage, at that stage, as you can see, the sear is almost ready to go. So just click it just one tiny bit more and it's away. So if you tighten that first stage screw too much then you won't have a second stage at all because all movement on that screw, uh, all movement on that trigger is moving the actual trigger sear. Okay, to be able to adjust these things <coughs> you actually need tiny allen screw so that can go up into there and just turn like so everything that you do to that <coughs> has an effect <coughs> on the final thing okay so there you go that's the internal operation of your Walther trigger um, <coughs> one thing I've done <coughs> is if you, if you mess up the settings then you can just screw these out again and uh, more or less put it back to factory setting and, uh, and try again but um, I've still got quite a long first stage and now that I know how the thing works I'm, I'm not so unhappy about it um, decent trigger actually